It is a delight for us to have you this morning in Barakam. We are highly honored and elated for this very august delegation led by the Honorable Minister himself, which is a testament of the cordial relationship that the Ghanaian continent, right from uh, the first continent up to the present, has had with the Gambia Armed Forces as well as the good people of Gambia. Allow me to thank you individually and collectively for your service to our great country. Remember, when you serve outside the shores of our country, how you perform and how perhaps you could be received by the locals, it is all contingent on how you treat the other side of the coin. Principally, I've gone through your civil military engagements. To me, that's quite commendable. You undertake during the course of your tour in this country. Basically, that's the right direction. I recall when I was here last year, I gave you a strong warning, stay away from politics. It's very heartening to get some positive feedbacks from governments who say the armed forces, you stayed out of politics. You should commend yourself for that achievement. Under my watch, that is the way forward. The armed forces, we cannot be viewed in the context of tribal inclination. Why? The armed forces is the last line of national unity. People may be divided on political lines, on tribal lines, but we cannot afford to be divided. That is why if the armed forces allow to be dragged into politics, the armed forces allow themselves to be dragged into tribal sentiments, that is going to be a recipe for disaster. That my vision for you is to say an armed forces that is supposed to perform their constitutional mandate to the admiration from and satisfaction of our government. Bear in mind also, we should stay away from politics, non-tribally inclined, and of course set for ourselves goals that are designed to promote socio-economic development, at the same time subordinate and accountable to civil authorities. As far as army is concerned, when they going get tougher, is the army that we call, and they <coughs> they are the one who will represent us in case of external aggression. And when we were in need of blood at the hospital, we call on the army. They came in numbers. You can see my uh, yard here; it was bushy, very bushy, and I called the commander. I saw a troop of army came here, clearly within one hour. I cannot just express how, how appreciative I am for, for this guy. He's doing tremendously well in this region, and I commend him to continue doing that, and uh, continue collaboration. Uh, you <laughs> 
soldat bi yalla may lañ jamm ñu nak dañ sante dañ gëreum moy comme soldat yi suma mag yi wax nako honorable maman jaay soldat yi mo wax deug yalla gacci nga lama rek lañu nay wax ah ñom ño tax ñu am jamm ak salam fi tay ci tay mo tax ñu mëna gatt suñu xaliss di jagar jagar en mom mo tax ño tax ñu am sécurité ba nga xamne suñu tété dañuy mëna nelaw ñun des soldat yi mom wax deug yalla ñu yokko rek lañ bëgg waye bëgg seen wañi wañi parce que seen liggéey rafetna jamm ak salam bu fi nekk ak dal bi ñom ñoko wara 